Hello, you have probably seen either the title or the thumbnail, and you're wondering, is it about Noxtaku? Yes. Yes, it is. Um, so why, why is he bad? Well, uh, the, I have, I have a list right there. Um, you can't see it because it's in my Word document, I'm not putting it on screen. But basically, many reasons. And I'm going to do this in one take because that's all the effort he really deserves. Um. But anyway, without further ado, why why is Nox Taku not that great, actually? Well, unless you lived under a rock for the past year, uh, you would have seen that there was that whole V-Shoujo drama. Now, as a person that, like, was keeping up with it when it happened, uh, clearly, clearly Mr. Uh, Nox was uh, in the wrong there, and he shouldn't have tried to come in and act like a saviour when, you know, he clearly wasn't, and people uh, kind of got upset at him about that, rightfully so. So that, that's that's point number one. Point number two, if you actually look at what content he makes, it's all clickbait, which in of itself is not inherently bad, but one of the things he clickbaits with is, you know, bragging about violating consent by topping into random streamers chats and donating money to be like oh stay funny word one of them happened to be the n-word now we clickbaited with that because obviously anyone that's an english speaker would understand and infer that n-word refers to one particular slur however the joke if you can even call it that is that he wanted them to say the word nipple then when YouTube rightfully demonetized him for that, he whined about on Twitter. Now, this is not the first time that he has made something questionable and whined about it on Twitter. Case in point, he recently made a video where he made high-key kind of sexual content that was technically allowed on YouTube but kind of wouldn't be monetized and whined that his passion project was uh, demonetized, which was demotivational. And to that I say, good. Don't make weird, like, you know, stuff that is basically non-consensual. <laughs> anyway, next point. He steals art, gets called out on it, deletes the tweet where he posts a link to the video and quietly adds credit. Now, I don't know about you, but uh, in, in the real world, you generally do something called uh, asking permission, right? Rather than asking forgiveness after you've done something, which clearly is beyond him, right? The, the V Shoujo drama. Now, the last and like maybe least egregious thing that uh, we have to cover here in this one take is that he like he basically embodies the worst of the anime fandom in that he constantly jokes about oh, sex and on the one hand complains about the oversexualization of Twitch but then also like clickbaits with sexualization which is extremely hypocritical of him and not very cash money because controversial take time sex work is real work and if you're not okay with some people sexualizing themselves for money but you're okay with doing that for them it's like maybe you might be a hypocrite and and the sad thing is right is that before he delved into the clickbait outrage look at me type content he made video essays about anime. Now, that market is, you know, relatively untapped. There aren't that many people making video essays about anime anymore, right? And I think more people should do that because, you know, engaging with anime as art is good, actually. But he doesn't do that anymore. So, yeah. Go, go back to doing that, Nox. Stop, stop being, like, a clout chaser that, on the one hand, 
calls out like, oh, sexualization bad, while partaking in it himself and trying to act like a hero and main character syndrome it up in the house. 